My name is Austin Hausman. I am a graduate student at the University of Kansas. I'm going to take you through a little bit about what my mod does for our parallel hybrid electric vehicle here on campus. Um, my mod is essentially an instrumentation and control system. It allows us to monitor different systems, um, control different systems like your low power systems, and give driver feedback. Um, you can see here, here's our heads up display with our basic speedo, tachometer, uh, voltage off of our inverter current off our inverter, our main pack voltage, and our main pack inverter. We have state of charge here, and this gauge actually gives us instantaneous power as we drive. So you can monitor um, how well you're driving it, things like that. Um, on our main login screen, we can log in here, and that takes us here. This is our main screen where we can control all our vehicle systems, um, touch screen switch to turn on our lights, uh, put the vehicle in reverse, wipers, hazards. Um, if we go to our BMS screen, it gives us all our pack voltages, um, down to each individual cell level. Um, we also have a music interface that you just plug in MP3s. Um, you can listen to your music all through the built-in music center. Um, we have a backup camera implemented. Um, this can be done to where it switches on with reverse or you can control it however you want to go about that. So what my mod gives us is this, this flexibility where we can monitor different things different ways, control different things. Um, it's completely scalable. If we add a new system, we can add a new switch, add a new control, add a new display. Um, we have all your basic heads up displays. We have left and right turn signals, um, high beam indicator, hazard indicator. And so it gives us this realistic approach to what's going on in the vehicle. Um, it allows for quick view. Um, it's a little bit neater than your traditional analog gauges. And so it's really nice to implement into these older vehicles that don't really have this technology completely adaptable, um, multiple BMSs, if you want to do it down to just a regular cell voltage for um, a non-BMS system. Uh, installation's pretty straightforward, and uh, customers, um, we've got a ton of good feedback on it. Um, everybody is really blown away by the system. Um, as you can see, the graphics are really vibrant, and uh, it just overall looks good and works good. Um, as we move forward, we'd like to implement um, data logging into the system. We're kind of working on a separate system there, but we'd like to combine those ventures. Um, we have a, another EV that we're building here at KU that is going to be used for KU library um, mail delivery. So implementing this system into that would be um, a real advantage for them because they could track their routes. Um, they could use the GPS data to determine, you know, what their average route is. We could do energy analysis on it using the system. Um, and then we also have an adaptive displays project, which is going to look at what displays are distractive to the drivers, um, what configurations work best for what age groups and driving experiences. And so my model allows us to change all that on the fly. Um, you can load different loadouts. So if a teen driver comes in, they have a different login that gives them minimalized approach to keep their eyes on the road. Same thing for elderly drivers. Um, some people don't need to know all the bells and whistles. Other people would prefer that. So by just changing the login, you can load up different displays for um, the different drivers.